Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna start off this video by asking you guys your opinion. So if you had $500 to spend on a Christmas tree, Christmas decorations, and then whatever was left over in that $500, you could then spend toward crafts. So you could do any kind of piece of equipment, any kind of anything craft related. What would your Christmas tree look like? Would you go big or would you go smaller and spend that budget on the crafts? And the reason I ask is because I want to show you my Christmas tree. Ta-da! My Christmas tree. <laughs> my husband does not like it. He thinks it looks a little bit tiny and that maybe I should have put a little bit more money towards the Christmas tree this year. I think it looks perfect because I'm gonna get some more craft supplies. Okay, okay, all joking aside, uh, yes, this is my sad little Christmas tree here, but I promise I do have an actual real Christmas tree. But we are gonna talk about today what you might wanna put on your wish list if you are a crafter. And if you're on this video and you have a crafter in your life and you're looking for ideas, um, be sure to get ready because we are gonna go over a lot of good ideas. So let's get right onto it. So the first thing that I have for you is gonna be a Cricut or a Silhouette. So if you're brand spanking new to crafting and you don't have that yet, you'll want it. Especially if you were like me in the beginning and you looked at it and you wondered if it's really worth it. Let me go ahead and answer that for you. Yes, it is. So go ahead and go ahead and jump right on in with a Cricut or a Silhouette. There's a lot of good deals right now. So check those out. The next thing I have for you is going to be a press of some kind, so a heat press. So if you already have your Cricut and you're sitting there trying to make it work with your iron, go ahead and jump right on in to a heat press. If you have room for a big heat press, I highly recommend that. If you don't, go for the easy press. And if you're watching this going, I've already got a heat press. I don't, that doesn't count for me. Put a mini heat press on your list. And I know, you're probably sitting there thinking, I don't need that little thing. I can just use my iron for something that small or my big heat press. And you would sound just like me in the beginning. When I first got this, I was like, really? What's it gonna do? And then I started doing just these little projects here and there where it was just, my heat press was too big and my iron was just awkward to try to fit on the little projects and voila, I found a new friend in the Cricut Easy Press Mini. So yes, I would recommend this if you already have a heat press but you still need a little one. Next after that is going to be sublimation. So if you are already into crafting with a Cricut and a Silhouette, but you wanna kinda take it a little step further and you wanna see what else is out there in the crafting world, Go for sublimation, I absolutely love it. It is more expensive, so this is gonna be if you have more of a budget to spend on your Christmas craft wish list. Then go ahead and check out sublimation if you're curious about what that is. I will link videos up above and down below there I explain it so that you can see what all is possible with sublimation, but it is an absolute game changer. It's basically gonna be a great thing for your crafting game, so definitely sublimation. Okay. And if you have absolutely no budget, I would say check out some kind of laser, laser engraver. So like a glow forge or some kind of laser where you can just basically engrave things that you're working on to personalize it to people. I do not have one of these. This is gonna be a someday dream wish list item for me. But if you're sitting there and you're wondering, hey, what else is there out there? Check it out, Google it, I promise. It is one of the coolest things to watch, at least online, I haven't seen it in person. But check it out, I think you're gonna find it pretty cool. And if you're sitting there going, okay, okay, I can't afford all this stuff you're throwing out here, let's talk some more budget-friendly stuff. Well, let's talk about a stocking stuffer idea. So this here is a small little thing that looks just like a regular pen, but when you pop it out, you can see here that it has this tiny, tiny, tiny little point on the end and this is for weeding and if you're familiar with like the Cricut weeding tool that it comes with it's got like this hook on the end and I would show you mine but I recently destroyed it yeah it, long story but anyway this is the pin pin it is a game changer for when you are doing um, weeding with lots and lots of little pieces this will be a lifesaver and this is very very affordable I believe this is uh, ten dollars and this comes from a company called 143vinyl.com so yes this is a wonderful little gift to pick up for the crafter in your life or you if you're the crafter. So the next thing is obviously, if you if you can't think of anything else, anything, you're trying to find a gift for somebody that is a crafter in your life, a gift card. 
a gift card works every single time. <laughs> so, I mean, go to your local Michaels, Hobby Lobby, anything like that. If you want to get a gift card that's somewhere online, so if you have somebody in your life that's interested in getting into sublimation, check out some price like Heat Press Nation. They do a lot of the sublimation heat presses, sublimation machines, things of that kind, and they are a good company that I highly recommend. So their stuff will be down below. Think gift cards. Okay, so there you go. That is an overview of a crafter's Christmas wish list ranging from truly $10 to thousands of dollars with a Glowforge. So yeah, I hope you found something in between there that either works for you or the crafter in your life. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And one more time, let's just check out my amazing